Hi, my name is Robin V. And I'm Kay. And we're coming from the chatter. And we have a special guest today, Snow. We're going to talk about electrical cars versus gas cars. So all I know is that <laughs> to get gas, you got to actually have an app to find out where the gas... Um, cheap car, gas is. Yeah, no, well, the cheap gas, for regular <laughs> for regular gas. But for electrical, you have to have an app to uh, actually get to see what the electrical ports are. So, Adam, what you got to, what is your comment on this? My comment about electric vehicles is people go crazy about electric vehicles thinking they're saving the environment driving an electric car. But what they don't understand is when they plug them up at home, it makes their power bill go up. When they stop at one of these little power pods yeah. that you have to have that app for to see where they are because they're far and in between, mm -hmm. when they plug up those, it makes that power bill go up. They don't understand the coal and the diesel that has to be burned at the power company to make that power to charge these cars. All right, exactly. Not only that, if you're in an electric car and I'm in a gas car and we're going on a road trip, we both need fuel. I need fuel, you need to charge. I go in the store and get a Coke, fill up with gas. I'm gone in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was reading that, yeah. You, you have to sit there and charge for 30, 45 minutes before you can get back on the road. Wow. I mean, it's bad enough when you're looking for gas late at night when you're traveling on the road. And next thing you know, you, you're saying, where, where can I find gas? Where can I find gas? So imagine doing the app and everything else. I guess you can only use three quarters of tank before you start to charge it again to be safe. And that's going like, to take you about two hours. I'm going to stop at the go lo local grocery store, go shopping, go give me some food. But I'm on the road now, okay? I'm not talking about locally because that's a different story. Right. But I'm I got to do all of that before, hey. But wait, even locally for somebody like me, it's, it's going to be a, a challenge because I w I'm one of those people that, oh, I got to get gas. I'll get it in the morning on the way to work type of thing. So <laughs> what am I going to do if I have to charge the vehicle, you know? Exactly. <laughs> There'll be a lot of late people. <laughs> 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 like, wait, I had to charge my car. It, took, it didn't take 10 hours. It took 12 hours. I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you live in an area like where I'm at, there's one charging station within a 50 mile radius of here. Wow. Oh, wow. And it's owned by Tesla. So unless you have permission from Tesla, say you own a Nissan that's an electric vehicle, you have to have permission from Tesla to use this charging station that's out here in town. Wow. But other than that, there's no other charging station within a 50 mile radius of here. Well, and if somebody's already hooked up charging, you got to wait for them to finish. Right. <laughs> right. I didn't even think about that. They got <laughs> you got to wait to happen. No, you got to wait another town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Got rid of hotel room. <laughs> you got to get to the hotel uh -huh. first. Well, wait a minute. Out. Wait a minute. You know, when when there's a storm and the power goes out, what are you going to do then? You know, you going nowhere. wow, yeah, what happens then? But wow. what if that power station or that local gas station that you just apped on didn't pay the electric bill? Okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, you know, but like she just said, if the power goes out and you got a dead battery, you're stuck, yeah. But yeah. the funny, the funny thing I find about Tesla, you know, it's sorry, I'm not trying to copyright a friend or anything like that, but. If your battery goes dead on the side of the road and you have to call them to come out for roadside assistance, they bring a big diesel generator out there. Wow. Car. Wow. So now what if you got a Nissan? I guess you guess you gotta wait for Nissan to <laughs> I, I guess I guess you're not sure Oops. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. They'll they'll tow it to the nearest dealer, you know, where they'll charge you triple. Yeah, you're calling triple A. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, they're just gonna tell you. Yeah, you know, and yeah, so. Uh, I mean, I I'll stick with my gasoline vehicle. Well, Karen, I mean, you have a hybrid, right? Yeah, yeah, I like the hybrid because um, of the mileage that I get. You know, when I fill up my tank, I'm close to I'm like 490 miles per tank full. You know. Oh, yeah, but, but see, with the hybrid, like I was saying, you know, the hybrid, it actually charges itself as it's going. Okay. 
and you know you don't have to plug it in a wall. Thank goodness. And but the full electric vehicles, it makes no sense to plug this charger in at night. It's like turning your oven and your dryer on at the same time to charge a car. Wow. And but people ain't thinking about that. They think, oh, I drive an electric vehicle, so I'm doing so much good for the environment. Uh, and I mean, but they don't think about the electricity they're using. And like you said, the coal and everything else that has to be burned to re to generate that electricity. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, because like the, the power station out here in town, it runs at uh six thousand kilovolts, I think is what it says. Okay. So that's like a ton of coal every hour. Wow. Just to, just for that charging station, not counting what, what they burn everywhere you know, else. Yeah, else. everything else, right. Yeah. And That's, plus, you know, you got the diesel fuel that, you know, in the equipment that has to load that coal, you know, stuff like that. But yet, oh, I'm so happy I got an electric vehicle. I'm helping the environment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe wow. if they put a solar panel on the top, that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> Can you imagine me out in the dark or even in the daylight and I'm running out and I'm like, what do I do? I'll just start drop down and start praying and hope that you can't even hope that another vehicle comes by with a gas a, 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 yeah, yeah. Gas lead or anything. To well, get the, 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 good, the good thing about the charging station out here mm -hmm. is it's in the middle of a strip mall so you can plug your car and go shopping. Ah. Oh, because they know you're going to be there for 12 hours. Yeah, wow. That's ridiculous. So, so you could say like every quarter of a tank, you have to stop and recharge. I mean, that, to save time and money because you still got to pay all that hours to charge, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You put it yeah. in your home and you're still paying electricity in your home. Yeah. And you still got to pay at the charging station. Those aren't free either. No. no. Like, I, I watched the video the other night. Um, a guy plugged up his Tesla. It was like he had like two miles left on his battery range, and he plugged it up, and it cost him like forty five dollars to charge it. Wow. Well, that's not expensive compared to for how long he had to charge it. And it's, I know he didn't stay there for twelve hours, did he? No, he was there for like forty five minutes. But that's that's a, what I'm saying. I that's a dollar a minute. Yeah, that's a dollar a minute. I would rather put forty five dollars in my suburban, which would take me about ten minutes. And be back on the road instead of sitting there doing nothing for 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I know well, everything you got to wait now, but that's just the idea. But it's still a dollar a minute. So if you have to be there for like, say, even four hours, that's a long, that's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah but that's, that, that's my point is they say EVs are supposed to be so much cheaper and so much better on the economy. If yeah. it's so much cheaper, why does it cost you as much to charge that battery as it does for me to fill up my truck? Yeah. No, it caused them more to fill, charge that battery. But I think they're saying it's cheaper because of the electronic part of it, like the life of the car. But see, like you don't have to go to the mechanic as often and they have all this different stuff. But, but see, that's, happen, that's, another, you know, they, that's another thing. The batteries are only guaranteed for a year. That's and it. If, if, if that battery goes if that battery goes dead where it won't recharge, it costs like 10 grand to replace it. Ooh. I thought they don't even replace the um because they got so many of those Teslas now piled up because they don't replace. If you're in a car accident, son, they destroy the car because insurance don't want to pay that kind of money for just that that part of the car. Right, they're, exactly. they're, just, they're, they're discarding it. Yeah, the insurance, the insurance would rather buy you a new one than fix it. Right. Wow. But, I mean, if you buy one, like say aftermarket used that don't have the warranty on it, and the battery goes dead, then you got to go either 10 grand out of pocket or, you know, scrap it or whatever. Well, I guess if you can afford a Tesla, you could afford that battery. But the mere fact remains is that there's other cars involved. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's like 30 different electrical cars now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. They're trying to change everything to electric. Yeah. yeah. But but they, like they, said, they said there was an adapter that you can hook up to the Tesla thing, the charger. Toyota or Nissan or whatever make yeah. you have, but still, you know, if you're waiting, 
I mean, I get upset when there's four people ahead of me at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> what about what happened when they when the gas price? You remember there was a shortage of gas yeah, and then yeah. lights and yeah. all kinds of stuff broke out. Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah. I mean, fight. It, it's getting ridiculous. You know, they're they're trying to change everything to electric because they think that it's more environmentally better. But yeah. It's really not. Well, we're heading point. that way, and I just want to say thank you so much. Snow is actually one of our watchers, one of our subscribers. Yes. He sit in the show, made a comment on what he wanted to discuss, and we have him on as a special guest. So thank you so much for coming to the chatter. Everything thank we want to let you guys me. know that yes. um, this is our opinions only, entertainment purposes. Please like, share, and subscribe. So we'll see you later. Bye-bye. We might continue Thanks, the conversation so. again. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see definitely. you later. Okay, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.